Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today, Triple Black is here, so let's just do this unboxing. For those that they need this info, they can pause here. And as always, we start with the left foot. I think that any brand and any model, they should have this colorway. This is something that is not offensive. It's very easy to combine with many other colors. This is a must have. As you can see on this pair, the heel came twisted and this is only on the left foot. So it's weird. In this shot we can see the logo on the tongue. Like I said in other video, this here is changed, is softer and now it comes a bit padded. We can see here the sole, very plain colors. As you can tell, only black and white, white being the exposed uh, boost and again with continental rubber. The midsole since 2021 loses it a bit of softness now it's a bit more rigid i miss being that soft like it was before because now they don't have the same cushioning unfortunately so basically on the heel it's a bit more softer under your toe box it's a bit harder and on the sole more firm I've seen that they are using these messages in all the products or most of them and I think that as an advice if you want to stop making more plastic don't use more plastic you know even though it's recycled I don't think using it in a pair of sneakers is 100% needed. because I'm seeing this heel this big and I don't see the point for that extra foam. You are using more plastic where it's not needed. In my opinion, if you want to put that foam under your toe box, it makes sense at least because under the toe box, I always feel lack of cushioning. I mean, you make that big heel, but under the toe box, you have like 19 millimeters or around that. And that is way too thin if you want to have good cushioning on them. By the way, the footbed is hard because now they have this textile material on the footbed, reinforce it with some plastic fibers. I don't think they took a good decision to change it the way it was before, because before it was with a very thin layer of foam. So it doesn't make sense, you know, doing this. We can see here the right foot because I want to see if the quality is consistent. I must say I didn't find any issues on this particular pair. midsole on the closer look it seems to be fine only on the back of the heel pay attention when it comes that scene because i've seen it is a bit open it there under this piece of plastic right in the middle i don't know if you can see it yeah that is what i'm saying so i think they have some control quality issues there and for 190 euros or dollars, I don't think this is acceptable. Of course, mistakes can happen, but in my opinion, if you get a pair like this, just give it back and buy another one. Don't keep that pair with those issues. And of course, this can happen to any brand when you are selling God knows how many pairs every year. The center piece of plastic is the torsion system. This series call it LEP.
as usual like you can see in this image they have this logo from continental you can have here a look of this um, insole although i have a medium arch and bigger instep i didn't have issues with this insole Again here we can see the interior, like I said that footbed is a mistake, it's harder than before and it shouldn't be there. At least just leave that boost material, expose it like you do it on the sole. I mean you don't worry to leave it expose it on the sole but on the interior you, you put something over, it doesn't make sense for me you know. The danger is on the sole, not inside you know, but anyway. Here we can have a look of these laces, I think they are good quality, nothing to complain here. They are just a bit elastic but it's not too much. I think they are a bit better than in other brands in my opinion. Here we can see a bit better the upper, I have some issues with this upper last year and this year they fixed those issues with the upper and I'm glad to see that. So as you might expect the toe box is rigid, over the toe box is very elastic material, very breathable and after that on the instep we can find a different material which is less elastic than before. I didn't like it this too much because with my uh, bigger instep I have issues, they are too cramped for me and then they should test these sneakers with many different people with many different fits because if they had a problem last year they will fix it but <laughs> I don't know how they will create new ones and I will show it to you in just a second. can see here on this cage on the interior is this protuberance well that will dig into my instep because I have a bigger instep if I want to tight a bit better those laces I will feel this cage on my instep and that is a mistake you know that particular protuberance they are like an eyelets for me that they are not well made and you can feel it on your instep it's not something like you could ignore it because you have that issue all the time you know you don't have padding under that tongue and every time you want to tighten up those laces you can feel that how can they make these mistakes you know they are not children you know they are this is not the first time when they are making this model you know i don't know who designed them but man you do some mistakes there With the end of this heel I didn't have issues when I had them on my feet. I know that many people said that the sneakers from this year they are a bit more lighter in comparison with the ones from the last year. But you know different colorways have different weights. Some of them are heavier and others more lighter. I don't know what changed them but you will see from a video to another, from a color to another that the weight is not the same. So it's hard to say that oh this pair in this size it has this weight because they won't be the same in every color ways. For example last year I think I, I checked it at least 10 if not more probably more but let's say 10 and none of them they had the same weight doesn't matter what colors it was they were different so yeah.
I decided to add this extra video for those that are telling me maybe they are not in your size. Maybe you should go up or down or whatever. As you can see this insole it has the shape of my feet more or less and the size of my feet. So 41 1 and 3rd or 18 US it's my true to size. As you can tell ultra boost for me they are a bit narrow. I wish they were a bit wider but even so it's not a huge problem. Never had this issue being too narrow. Only on the instep I wish they were a bit more elastic and not having that stupid problem with the interior of that cage. You know, it's funny because the last year I didn't have these issues with those cages. They weren't done this way and I didn't have these issues. But this year, I don't know, they changed it. For some reason they changed it and now I have problems with them. Last year I had problems with the upper because it was causing me discomfort staying right over my toes. Now they changed that but they created a different problem. One equal or even bigger than the last year. So I can use these sneakers without tightening them as I normally would. Now maybe for those that they have flat feet these issues won't be there but for me as you can see the instep is pushing them into that cage and that is creating me problem. Now people will try to say oh I don't have any issues with that. Why is saying those things you know but not all of us we have the same feet. All of us we are different. Some of us have narrow feet other ones we have wide feet small arch big arch you name it. So maybe your feet won't be the same with mine. It's easy to say oh this year everything is perfect it's perfect maybe for you for me it's not perfect and the lack of cushioning on the forefoot is still there they didn't add more millimeters they have 19 i think on the toe box and that is not enough this is a stiff foam that they have if you try them you see it i like ultra boost i always like it you know it was one of my favorites for me Ultra Boost 20 was the last one that I like it a lot from Ultra Boost. From time to time you can find Ultra Boost 5 or 4 or 6 DNA. Those I like them also. But this Ultra Boost 21, 22, they have issues. I'm sorry to say that, but they have issues. So pros and cons. For pros, usually they have many colorways. It's very easy to find a color that you like it. They look more or less well made. I like the sole. I wish it wasn't that exposed foam but still I, I like it. It's not soft enough. I don't get that cushioning that I'm hoping to get. I like the upper more or less. I wish it was a bit more elastic over the instep but otherwise it's not too bad. I like it the way it is. For cons, well, like I said I don't get the cushioning that I want. I don't like the cage the way it's made this year. They wanted to change it to make it fresh and now fresh is bad I, I don't like it creating me problems you know with the sneakers so for me that is not an upgrade it's a big downgrade actually maybe others won't have any issues depending on how is their fit you know so do i recommend to check them or buy them well of course if you want to check them check them nobody will stop you i'm just saying here the issues that I have with my feet. For others, like I said, maybe they won't have these issues. Good for them. But I have those issues. And they are quite pricey, you know. 190 euros or dollars. It's a lot. I think I will end here my review. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe because it's very important for me. And please stay safe.